One believes one is commending a philosophy when one presents it as a popular substitute for religion. The economy of the spirit does indeed occasionally require transitional orders of ideas. Thus, the passage from religion to a scientific mode of thought is a violent and perilous leap, something to be advised against. To that extent, this recommendation of a philosophy is justified. But, in the end, one also has to understand that the needs which religion has satisfied and philosophy is now supposed to satisfy are not immutable. They can be weakened and exterminated. Consider, for example, that Christian distress of mind that comes from sighing over one's inner depravity and care for one's salvation. All conceptions originating in nothing but errors of reason and deserving not satisfaction, but obliteration. A philosophy can be employed either to satisfy such needs or to set them aside. For they are acquired, time-bound needs, resting on presuppositions that contradict those of science. To effect a transition here, to relieve the heart overladen with feeling, it is much more useful to employ art. For those conceptions we have spoken of will be nourished far less by art than they will be by a metaphysical philosophy. From art, it will then be easier to go over to a truly liberating philosophical science.